Hi and welcome to Cranston. You know, if you're in the market for a really spectacular two-story, you've got to come and check out this house. Now, the first thing I love about it is that it's located in one of the most desirable parts of Cranston. It's in the estate area and it's backing onto some green space that makes it really nice when you're sitting in the summertime on your deck off the kitchen. You've got some space between the neighbors and you can enjoy the backyard. Now, when you first come into this home, one of the things that I like to look for in a, in a spectacular home is that there's high ceilings when you first come in, so you don't feel like you're in this enclosed area. You'll also notice there's some beautiful cherry Brazilian hardwood throughout the main floor. And just to my right here, we've got a main floor den with some French doors that um, allow you to have a spot for your office and kind of, you know, exit the noise. And we've got a large closet area that you can walk into to put all your coats when you first walk in. Now just coming down the hall into the main living area, I really like this floor plan. It's quite unique. Um, we've got a beautiful fireplace that's literally right in the middle between the great room and the kitchen so that you know you get to enjoy the fireplace whether you're standing in the kitchen or whether you're enjoying the family room. We've also got a formal dining room that's really done up quite nice. So if you're having a you know, Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner, you can put a lot of guests in here. Probably 12, 14 people could very easily fit in here. And in the great room, you'll notice that it's really bright. I mean, I love a bright room. And the ceilings are approximately 20, 22 feet tall. So the room just feels really large because of the high ceilings and the floor plan is open and throughout the main level is very bright. Now just coming into the kitchen here, and of course, with every spectacular home, you have to have a spectacular kitchen, and this is no different. First thing, I love the fact that there is a spacious island in the middle with a breakfast bar, so you know, you can have a couple of bar stools here when you have some guests over for entertaining. There's a large workspace here, so lots of counter space. I really like the cabinets, um, very unique. They're, they're solid maple, but they've got some nice dark wood trim that just add a nice flavor into the kitchen. And the homeowner has just put in really high-end appliances, Bosch dishwasher, LG stove, LG fridge, and of course you've got a pantry that leads right out into the garage. So when you're coming in with your groceries, you can just walk right through into the pantry without having to lug everything around from the front door. This makes for a really nice kitchen area and again it's open right into the rest of the main floor so it's bright, spacious and nice to work in. Now just coming into the master bedroom, what I like about the upper level is first of all there are three large bedrooms and I mean they're large. So the, I don't like too small the bedrooms in this home, I think you'll be very impressed you could put queen size beds in every bedroom. Now the master bedroom here, you could even put a king size bed if you wanted to. There's that much space in here and you can see the homeowner does have some large pieces of furniture. They still fit really nicely in here. This leads on to a spectacular ensuite. I mean the ensuite is great. You've got your separate shower, you've got your soaker tub, you've got two sinks and it's got large windows in there as well that bring a lot of natural light into the ensuite. So this makes for just a fantastic master bedroom. We're down here in the lower level, and what makes this lower level awesome is the fact that upstairs you've got about 1,200 square feet, which spills over into the downstairs, so you've got an enormous amount of room down here. Now this is a walkout basement, so you've got all of the natural light coming in. It doesn't feel like you're in a basement. The homeowner, when he had it built, put in floor heat. Now, i got to tell you, it feels really good on my feet right now on this cold day. Now on the main level here, you've got a large great room. Here we've got a large sectional. You can see there's a TV in the background here and then there's a, a fireplace that is uh, not gas or built in. It is one of the electrical ones that, that you, you bring in that aren't permanent. There's an area over here for the fool's ball table or, if, or a pool table if you like to put one in. And then on top of it, we have another bedroom. We have a full bathroom and we have um, another den, which could be used as a spare bedroom. There's no closet there, but it could be an office or anything else, storage room. But the bottom line is this is an excellent basement, lots of space and lots of natural light coming through. 
Well, we're down here on the lower level, standing on the patio, and there is this really nice aggregate patio that's down here right off of the Wacow basement, which is great. Pretty good sized backyard. As you can see, there's a nice black chain link fence, and there's a nice path that you can walk on along here, which is the nice green space that you'll see that gives you some separation between the other homes. Of course, in the summertime, if you can visualize what the summertime looks, <laughs> which is hard to do in December, but it's quite nice back here and there's lots of mature trees. So this is a backyard you can really sit out and enjoy and again, still have some privacy from the neighbors. So all in all, this is a fantastic property. There's, this is to mention a few of the features again. You got a stucco home, you got beautifully situated on a nice quiet cul-de-stack in the estate area. You've got a large two-story home with four bedrooms plus an up floor den and downstairs den three and a half bathrooms, walkout basement, in-floor heat. I really don't think you can find better for this price range. This is definitely a home that you're gonna to wanna to put on your list to see in the coming week. If you do have a realtor, call your realtor today and book your own private showing on whenever that's convenient for you. And if you don't have a realtor, call myself, Rob Van Overmeer, and I'll be happy to arrange for your private viewing.